drop by and then I'm gonna shoot something. Hey everybody, it's part two of my five part mini whatever this is series on holiday stuff with sticky outfits to match. Ding ding ding. Stick is actually a Jewish word, so I guess that doesn't really tie into Christmas that much, being that it celebrates Christ, but hey, Jewish people got Hanukkah, that's pretty cool too. Anyway, Jumping right in, today's theme, as you might have guessed by the hat, is Santa! Ho, ho, ho! Anyway, let's talk about Santa. Santa has a lot of different names, like a lot. Like Saint Nick, or Father Nicholas, or Santa Claus, or my favorite, Finnish call him Yola Pookie. And he has a lot of different. Very no, the honk. No, the honk at home. The funny thing is, is his origin is different in each of these countries. For example, in Finland, where they call him Yolabuki, he actually started as a weird goat that would come around and terrorize children. Over the years, he actually had morphed into Santa as we call him today, but that's kind of scary. Like, Santa was an angry goat at one time in Finland. On top of that, we also had Saint Nicholas. Now, Saint Nicholas is probably the best story of where Santa came from. He was a saint in Turkey, in Mira. And what he would do is he would just surprise people with gifts all the time. And in fact, in Norway, Santa Claus actually came from a Norwegian god that rode a reindeer like piece and had a big beard and was powerful. That's basically all I know about him. Now, the interesting thing about Santa is Santa did not wear red traditionally until a Coca-Cola ad featured him in a red suit. Now, it was pushed so heavily on the public that the public began to believe that that was what Santa wore. So it's a really interesting tribute to how advertising shaped how we now see the modern Santa. So now I'm gonna show you my Santa-themed look, cause you know, I put out for Santa, and <laughs> I'm also gonna walk you guys through some other amazing Santa facts. So tune in and check out today's Santa lookbook.